Folks, ABA Webmaster Greg Neese here uh, to show you how to use the brand new Listing Central app at aba.org. So let's dive in and take a quick look here. Um, first thing you'll notice right off the bat uh, is that it looks the same. And for the most part, it behaves and acts the same. A lot of what we did was under the hood uh, updates to make it function uh, in a new software environment. Um, but while we were doing that, we took the opportunity to um, build out some new features that we think you'll like. So um, as you're used to it being, if you choose an area like this, the ABA area, there's the list totals that you're used to seeing, and that's all fine and dandy. Where things get a little bit different is when you want to update your list totals. So first thing we do is sign in. And at this point, if you have seen this screen before and established a username and password with us, then just go ahead and log in. However, if you have not logged in uh, to your ABA account since December, uh, we have moved to a new membership management software system and what you will need to do is to uh, you will need to establish a username and password for the uh, the new system so the way to do that is to click the i forgot my name or password link down here put in your email and the system will send you uh, an email with a link to allow you to establish a username and password so assuming you've done that uh, or have already done that and, lo and will be logging in, we log in. And we get taken back to Listing Central uh, and we have some new options available here. The uh, big day and list, uh, the big day report, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, works exactly the same. We've cleaned up the interface a little bit. We've added a couple of things to make it just a little bit easier to enter big day uh, reports because they are pretty complicated necessarily. So um, so we think you'll like that, but we're not going to dig into this here at the moment. What we're going to do is just go to our basic list totals. And again, this works more or less the same way as you're used to. So we're going to edit our life lists and um, here you'll see that I have entered an ABA Continental list. And what we're going to do first um, is we're going to create a new list, and then we'll come back to this one. Um, so when you log in, if you've been a user here before, um, what you'll most likely see is the list totals that you've entered already like this. Uh, and you can go ahead and edit those, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment. But first, I'm going to show you how to create a new list. So to create a new list, click this button here. And let's create an ABA area list. And I'm going to show you how to do how to create a um, clean and correct ABA area life list, which includes Hawaii. Um, so again, as with the old listing central, if you want to, you can just enter your number here, click Save, and you're done. Um, but we're going to do something different. So first, let's click No Herd Only. If you only count birds that you have seen, um, and we're going to click Checklist. This is where the new fun begins. So clicking Checklist and hitting Save then presents us with the ABA checklist. And you can use this in a couple of different ways. So you can um, first of all, if you just want to run down the list and check birds off, you go to quick check mode. And here you can just run on down the list and check off all the birds you've seen to get a total. And that'll just, that works like a simple checklist. Um, however, if you don't want to do that, you want a little more detail, um, you can go in here and click any one of these when you check this these fields become live and you'll be able to enter date, location, all this information here, upload a photo, um, and then you will the pencil will turn to a check mark um, and you have to go through and do those individually. But if we don't want to do those individually, 
we might want to upload our data from eBird. So let's do that. So we're going to click the import from eBird. And the first thing you want to do is click this link up here. And that will take you to your eBird, my eBird profile. And um, once you're there, you will see all of your lists. And for this uh, case, you got county, state, province, um, country. For this one, we want to do our ABA area. So let's click that. And um, what you'll see here is your ABA area life list and then a download link at the top right. So you want to click that to download your um, checklist information. And then let's go back here. Now I've already done that. And we have, here it is, eBird ABA Area Life List CSV. So this is what you want to upload to Listing Central. So we've chosen this, and now we have some choices here. And those are to overwrite the records that exist with eBird equivalents if the dates are earlier. So if I had filled out that black-bellied whistling duck from today, uh, and I have a black-bellied whistling duck in the data that I'm about to upload, the data that I upload is going to overwrite what I did today. If I choose this, it will keep the records and it will ignore any eBird equivalents. And this one will do the opposite, which will overwrite the current records with records from eBird if they exist. If they don't exist, it will ignore them. Um, since we are starting with uh, a blank set here, it doesn't really matter which one we choose, so we're going to do overwrite and uh, start the import. And what happens here is now all of this information has been brought into Listing Central, and it has changed the eBird Clements name uh, of one of the species on this list, gray-headed swamp hen to purple swamp hen, so it'll go through and parse all that. Uh, and it will remove from your eBird list any exotics that you may have that are not countable in the ABA area. Um, it's a nice, easy, quick way to clean up that list. Uh, here's a couple of other fields and checkboxes. If you want this list to be private, that means that you only want yourself to be able to view it, check that box and people on the public side will not be able to view it. You can also keep notes for yourself here uh, as far as the total checklist is concerned. And then on a species by species basis, you can add notes here. Um, one other thing is this blue checkbox that we see here. And that if you click that, it will then take you to the eBird checklist that that species was is uh, from. So, but what we want to do now is we want to get our Hawaii sightings added to our ABA area checklist, which uh, eBird does not recognize Hawaii as being part of the ABA area. So that CSV file that we downloaded here, ABA life list, does not include anything from the state of Hawaii. So we're going to click this again. And here I have a Hawaii life list uh, downloaded from eBird. And we're going to do the exact same thing. And there we go. It added 57 species to that list. Um, it parsed out these names and changed them to the ABA AOS nomenclature. And it stripped out the species not on the ABA checklist. Uh, and then at this point, uh, you can close this and close this and we shall reload. And now if you go back, there we go. We have ABA area and you can view or edit your checklist. Um, but now we've got our ABA continental list, which was... Um, you know, that, that first file that we downloaded. 
And this is something that we entered before. So most of you, when you come in here, or actually all of you, uh, you're going to see this. So what we do here is create a new checklist and then do the same thing. eBird, go to the ABA life list, which is our ABA continental list, import, and 658 species were added to that list, and we are all set. So now, when I close this, and then go back. There we go. So now we have our true ABA continental and ABA area life lists all set. And it works the exact same way for um, any regions that are subsets of the ABA area. So you'll notice in here, um, there are no subset of ABA area. However, in these listing regions or areas, we do have uh, a couple, ABA area, continental and total, uh, ABA area photographed, uh, and then of course, state and province, uh, state or province and county, and uh, works the exact same way. Here you choose a state, and then go in and choose a county, and then you can do the same thing, and you can go to eBird again, um, and you can download county lists and upload them here. Uh, so that's it. We hope you like it and uh, enjoy.